Right, are we recording now? Um, another look at my Elsa mirror. We up the right way from Poundland because I realised there were things I'd left out of my haul earlier, but I'm not going to um, insert them again. Once you've done the video on Windows Live Movie Maker, when you go into it and then do it again, it, it gets rid of loads of bits all around the edges. So if you've inserted like a caption or something, all the if you've, if you've inserted captions or words and they go too near the edge, loads of it gets missing so this um, I don't know how I'll put this one together but it will be like as an additional supplementary thing at some point sometime of items I've left out from the haul these are always useful if you buy things like this they're usually quite expensive just one on its own these are two in a single pack from the 99 pence store invaluable shop that is and um, these these damp damp traps dehumidifiers I don't know I think this is from a 99 pence store it could have been from Poundland this is definitely definitely from the 99 pence store and it's a big laundry bag they're not kidding they're not kidding what big laundry bag I'd say that's a big laundry bag but I'm not going to use it as a laundry bag. I should just use this to store th to store jumpers and clothes and things in. And um, because I'm so lack of storage space to put anything in. It, I don't know if the camera's picking this up on the webcam, but it's a lovely pink colour. Let me put it as near to the the camera, the webcam where the light is as I can. I don't know if it's picking it up. It's a lovely bright candy pink. They've also, I think there's, um, I can't remember if one was plain white or one was black. I think one might have been just plain white. or, But they had a like a, uh, oh, a fawn, cut, a beige, beige coloured one as well. Another one of these large Niveas. Um, I don't know when this video is going to go up, but um, I featured one of these in a haul video I did last week. But it's going to be a long haul video, about half an hour long, and I haven't put it together yet. Um, I've done them all, in, but I think uh, I've put little individual segments together with Windows Live Movie Maker, and but it has difficulties sometimes, so I think I'll just upload the segments onto YouTube and then do it with the YouTube video editor. But anyway, these are really good value because I use Nivea every day now, that's all I use. And um, normally they're 50 mil, and those are over a pound, but these are 75 mil really good value and um what else did i uh, oh i got some um uh i haven't actually got haven't actually got this particular baby lips the um uh, minty sheer haven't actually got that this is i i funny you know i've um this seems to me to be the American version because I got it off eBay it came from the UK but I'm sure that the UK and the European ones have electro written underneath I may be wrong but I'm pretty certain or it's one or the other way around I know I think it's here that they've got electro written underneath and the American ones don't have um yeah this would be an American one I'll tell you how I know because it's got a number it's got a number there on the side and they, they don't have numbers over they're not numbered over here but um yeah minty sheer it smells like mint and it tingles when it, when you put it on your lips and i also got these two uh, so I have ruby star which i wanted for a long time and pink wishes which i've also wanted for a long time I still have these from the Christmas collection last year in America, the uh, winter edition last year. I still haven't been able to get hold of um oh uh, uh, peach posy from the buds collection. They have got it in Amer American Amazon, but um it's one of those uh, that they don't ship to the UK from there. I mean I, I've have bought I've bought things off. American uh, Amazon.com before, 
no problem, like books, CDs, uh, DVDs, whatever. Certain region run DVDs I wanted, but for some reason, trying to buy uh, a baby lips from there, uh, they don't ship to the UK. That unless it's just that particular seller, I don't know. I'm not, I haven't contacted them to ask. Anyhow, that that was all I want, and there be more because I've got some of those are uh, those candles I wanted to feature the scented candles. Some I've got a nice toasted marshmallow one. And Thought I'd use this one today from Poundland, Coley and Gill, or Coley and Gill, Coley and Gill, toasted marshmallow scented candle. A sweet fragrance with scents of warm and cosy nights. About if you want toasted marshmallow. I've never heard of them before. I think they're probably quite a good brand. It looks like it. I didn't mean it because Poundland was selling it, you know, they was nice. I know I've read an article in the paper not long ago saying it's bad for you, that the, what they put in them, but I don't use them enough for that. I used to use um, incense sticks and then that's bad for you as well, apparently the smoke. Um, and there was something else, but I'm going to stop it now while I try and remember what, it, what else I wanted to say. So I'll be back. Now here's the colour of the big laundry bag under the um, indoor light bulb. As you can see, it's, uh, this is on here. Um, big laundry bag. And that is a big laundry bag, as you saw. There's my hands. But it really is a big laundry bag. And I love the colour of it. I don't know if the camera's actually picking up that lovely candy pink. I love this colour. So pretty, but it's not picking up the actual proper colour of it. But still, I could get a lot of jumpers and things in there. <laughs> Big laundry bag. Definitely. You know, I like the... I don't know if it says this on the British ones as well. I like the way it's got in that tiny little writing inside the packaging there. It says, maybe she's born with it, maybe it's Maybelline. I'm sure I've probably mentioned this before in one of my videos, but I don't notice if it says that in all of them. But, um, I like that. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> I've always liked that. And um, oh, one of the other items I got, which I forgot to include in the haul, but I have included them before, is that lovely praline uh, chocolate. Or it says tray chocolate, and um, with an S on the end. And so my French is not very good, but I'm pretty certain that mean that would, if it was translated to English, I'm pretty certain that would mean very chocolatey, because very chocolate wouldn't make sense, and it it wouldn't be with chocolate because I think. Oh, that's Ave, isn't it? Avec? Ave? I think it's pronounced that word. It's the A-V-E-C. I think it's pronounced Ave. I know I've said all this before in my, my other video. But um, that particular chocolate, it just says praline tres chocolat. So, uh, tres chocolat. And I think it just means very chocolatey. But anyway, it's delicious. And you get a great big bar. That, that's from the 99 pence store. I have shown it before. But um, I might just insert a picture of it, and if I can find a picture that I've done of it. Anyhow, I can honestly say that this um, praline, tray chocolate, I presume it's pronounced tray chocolate, meaning very chocolatey, very chocolatey. Mm. It's very, very good, so I can highly recommend that. Um, praline. Tray chocolate. I've not seen this for sale anywhere else apart from the 99 pence store. Well, uh, anyhow, I'm going to stop this part of the video here. Whether there'll be any more or not, I don't know yet.